Jimmy, we have a question. What is this? Like, what is this? And I felt like somebody <laughs> slapped me. <laughs> <laughs> I just really wanted to be a part of it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, we have a question. What's the okay. vibe in hospitality? <laughs> What's the vibe in hospitality? It's yeah. very, very chill. They've got some music playing, some nice oh. cool. Are I'm people chatting? It. Are people kind of commiserating <laughs> about the, are they talking bodies, bodies? Are they talking other movies? Or? They're not talking much. There's actually just music. There is, however, Bonnie Tyler glowy eyes song that she has. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's playing. playing. That was oh, my girl. Are you so, excited to go back? <laughs> um, I think I'm done. The, you guys are my last one. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, All right, let's get going. They're not as nihilistic as they look on the internet. You guys, this is me. Oh, whoa. I already love the energy the second I see you guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm going to start with you, Amanda. You you came off one of the best films of, of the year with The Hate You Give. This uh, amazing performance. Uh, Thank you. How, well, what was the appeal to step into a really wild, fun world like, well, bodies, bodies, bodies? Um, I just thought it was a fantastic script. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic script and a great challenge. And I thought that it also, like, really accurately... Uh, portrayed a Gen Z culture in a way that felt um, really precise uh, mm. and and effective and hilarious. And I, I felt like I hadn't seen themes like this explored in, in exactly this way. No, I agree. Maria, for you, I mean, you came off a freaking Oscar nomination and now you're stepping into this wild world. How did you get involved? Um, I got involved reading by reading the script and I was like wow it's so well written it's so dynamic from the beginning to the end and it just kept you guessing what happened who did it and at the end I was like huh we we're talking earlier about the slaps that we we're giving to each other uh, in the film and I felt like somebody <laughs> slapped me at the end <laughs> I was like what how uh, plus it's A24, Helena is freaking phenomenally talented uh, Amanda was already attached I love her from the hate you gave us. Is there yeah. us to the title or no? From the hate you gave. No, the hate you gave. Yeah. Yes. So I was like, I'm dying to work on this one. And yeah, I just jumped into this beautiful journey. I mean, and we created something that is so freaking contemporary. Then Mahawa, who is phenomenal in the industry, came mm -hmm. along. Rachel just did Shiva Baby, chased that generation plus. And it's just incredible to work with people that are fresh, young, dedicated, talented, nice people. It's crucial. And yeah, it's been, it's been a dream. You don't have to be nervous. I I'm not nervous. Wow, how so impressive. You're impressive. They're going to be obsessed with you. I brought something. What is it? It's zucchini bread. Yum. Let's start with you, Rachel. How did you get involved with this, this fun flick? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, so I read an earlier draft of this script, like early on in the pandemic, I was like sleeping in my parents' basement. Like I read the script like in the dark and I was like, this is so good. And then like, you know, they were like, oh, this is its early stages, whatever. I didn't hear about it for like a year. And then I was in LA and I heard about all these people auditioning and I was like, I loved that script. And I like begged for um an audition who wants to play bodies 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 so how do you play if you draw the piece of paper that has the x on it you are the murderer let's go cool. how did you get involved in what was obviously this is the script is a huge aspect of that was yeah. there anything else i mean working with this great group of people um, well, we didn't have the pleasure of knowing each other before like day one on the set. So uh, these were all people that I had heard of and admired from afar. My first conversation with Helena, she said, I enjoyed you in industry. I also have a theater background. So we bonded on that. Um, and she was like, read the script and tell me what you think. And I read it and I was like, oh my God, what is this? Like, what is this? You know, it was, it's hard to say, anything other than like the script is was so captivating 
um, you don't get stuff like that just on the email in an audition, regular, regular, you know what I mean? Um, but I think I was most excited to tackle a film like this that um, was so genre inclusive, I'll call it. Um, I was excited um, by the challenge of making something work that seemed to go from drama to comedy to horror to satire to, you know what I mean? Is that the lights? I think like, yeah, the writing was so incisive right from the get go. I think it was, it's one of those scripts that like, I, when I get something like this, like you try not to psych yourself out. Cause like a 20, between like a 24, the rest of the cast, like Helena, everyone involved. It was like, a, a, just like the perfect storm literally. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, yeah, especially the character, like the character, Emma, she's so specific. And so, you know, unlike me, that it was, I was like, this would be so cool to transform into this. Come on, man. I, I think we've met before, like at The Hobbit or something. How did, how, what was it for you? This is such a, it's so cool to see you in a movie like this. I, 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 well, I was just coming off of the first season of Foundation and I got on a Zoom with Lena to talk about it. I loved her movie Instinct and the way she pitched the character to me, I was like, what a perfect role to play after spending months as the emperor of the galaxy um <laughs> greg you know just having fun chilling by the pool with a bunch of kids and you know hoping for the best um so i i, I not and i and it was it was such a great experience this shoot from beginning to end for me was you know it was so creative it was so collaborative. Everyone was on their A game every day. Yeah, it's it's nice to see a modern horror movie kind of have that kind of Agatha Christie feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, what was the best moment for you guys? Like, it just what did you find that you really related to your character? Starting with you, Rachel. I think um, I related to. I think Alice wants everyone to get along um, and everyone to have fun. And I think that I always wanna make sure, I think group settings like can be stressful and unless it's like the best of groups, it always feels like so someone's gonna get like a little, it's gonna be a little sharp to mm -hmm. someone, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, and I think that um, I relate to that. I think Alice's anxiety comes out in, in a different way. <laughs> Jordan, what are you doing? I'm staying safe. Really? Because it looks like you're grabbing a meat cleaver to go look for my boyfriend. The same question for you, Lee. Um, I, I would have to say, uh, Greg is madly in love with Alice and I and I feel the same about Rachel. Oh, it was so hey. fun to have her little romance. I'm in love with you too. Really I said I, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that was really fun. I thought we had great chemistry when we were playing it. And it was like- Clearly. Until you, until you were then- Involved in my demise, I felt really bad. Totally I felt really so bad. That. I felt guilty. Chase, <laughs> really quickly, yours. What, what's okay, your... mine is way less cute. I feel like Emma. Th there's n there aren't that many redeemable qualities about her, but I do think that she collapses under the pressure of group dynamics and recedes into herself. And I think she is very good at like you know she has this like outward facing front that's like I'm a good girlfriend, I'm a good friend, and I'm a, but inside it's like. And I think there is something like admirable about that, albeit unhealthy of like, you know, that um, boundary. <laughs> well, guys, it's a joy. You guys were all, this is a great fun cast. I loved you guys. Loved you guys. Thank so you. Thank well, you. congratulations. It was nice talking to you. Bye. I feel the same. You should watch your girl. You pushed her. Liar. You just want to be me. What is happening? Oh, is that all you got?